Hi, I'm Mike D'Ambrosia. This is the first in a series of videos that's going to show you how to use the Xdebug debugger within PHP. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to set up Xdebug. We're going to try and do it in under three minutes just to show you how easy it really is. I'm going to be running off of a development instance on my local machine. And so you'll probably want to pause the video uh, while you're watching it so that you can mimic the steps. It's pretty quick and easy once someone shows you what it is that you need to do. Okay, so let's start the clock. First thing to do is to create a PHP info output. So we're going to do that. So uh, three lines of code, uh, PHP, PHP info, and close it up. And we're going to save this uh, in my uh, default web instance as info.php. So now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to load that file, info.php. Okay, a couple things we want out of here. I want the version of PHP that I'm running. It should be either 5.2 or 5.3. I'm not sure about later versions of uh, Xdebug for those versions. And we want this one right here, the configuration file, which is your path to the uh, php.ini file. Okay, so let's go get Xdebug now that we know what version we have. So xdebug.org. Here's the main page. We're going to click the obtaining link. And we're going to avoid the beta versions for right now. We're going to go with version 2.05. And because I'm running 5.2, I want this one or this one. And this one here is the thread safe version. And I'm going to right click on it to get it. Save link as. And I'm going to stick it in my Apache's modules file. I've already got it, but here we go. Okay. So the next thing we want to do now is we want to go back over here and we want to modify the php.ini file. So pasting it in from the clipboard when we copied it off the PHP info page, open up. So now the extensions that we're going to want to modify are located below the module settings, I'm sorry, above the module settings section in here. So if I search for module settings, that puts me to the end of the uh, extensions here. So first thing is, there's three things you want to do. Uh, where is it? Right here. You want to make sure that this is commented out if it's in the file. So search for php underscore xdebug.dll and comment it out. Second is add this, just exactly as you see it here. Change your path to match your system. And uh, notice the use of forward slashes on a Windows box as well. And then the third thing here is you're going to want to create a section for xdebug down here in the settings area. And don't forget the braces here, open and closing brackets. Uh, set your remote host for your local machine to point back to yourself, 127.0.0.1. Turn it on and set the handler to dbgp. That's it. Save it. Go to your services. Bounce Apache. Come on. And then flip back over to your PHP info page. And what we're looking for is the xdebug right there. Stop the clock. Xdebug is loaded. Now you can start using Xdebug with a variety of different IDEs to debug your PHP code. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.